that was a long yeah. run. Some friends of mine down in Oceana where I deliver tires to were telling me that that gas pipeline's a good Oh! Got one! Good God. I don't think it's that big. It might be a keeper. Maybe. This is better than I did yesterday. Get in here. I don't think it's a keeper. But, skunked out of the back of the boat. Well, at least this is better than I did yesterday, folks. I had to guess, I'm thinking about 10. Eleven and a half. and a half. Daggone it. Oh well. That's a buck. My gosh, what a buck.
Oh gosh! I was not. Oh man, it come off. Jeez, man, Christmas. That was a vicious hit. I never oh, got one. Got one? Yeah. You help? I think I got it. Dink. Well, it's another fish. Got one on a jerk bait this time, folks. A little smallmouth. Huh? Out in the middle. Yeah. Well, it's not that deep. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I was throwing out there. Nine inches. Oh my goodness, dude, thank you. <laughs> oh man, my camera fell down. Oh shit, sorry. I didn't get no footage. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh. Sorry about that, folks. The camera fell down, but look what I got. <laughs> on the Nico rig. On one of Bugsy's baits. 
four inch sick Ned worms. Dude, that's probably all close to four pounds. You ain't got a pair of pliers handy, do you? I have a pair. I don't know what I did with them. Nico rig. Remember up the river you used to talk about a, a four inch Sanko? Well, this ain't a Sanko. This is actually one of Bugsy's four inch Ned rig baits. Only keeper I've had all day. That's gonna be worth some money. That's gonna be worth some money. Right now you're probably leading the big fish, depending on how big KA2 is. Or if they caught any more, which they built out of there. I mean, I'll tell you, dude, I've had. 15 short fish. I can't put a big, a good bite in the boat. I ain't caught a bass. I never even felt that one bite. That's a good one. <laughs> that's usually the ones that, when you don't feel them, they're usually better fish. Yeah. fish number four folks on the Nico rig again little small mouth I don't think it's going to help me Ten and a half inches. Oh well. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this thing loose.
I got the drain open too, so it should be probably losing water out. All right, folks, it's time to weigh my fish. Oh, good gosh. Come here. I'm like, get a fin jam jab in me, I know it. Finally got, gee, many Chris, he's still fighting me. There it is, folks. Three pounder going to the weigh in. I need a good close up because I got to send a picture of this to Bugsy. Yeah. Easy, you're gonna miss that bag. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn it loose. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fish loose that I caught today down here at Bluestone Lake. Uh, I don't know what place I came in yet, but. I know I'll be taking home a little bit of money today, but here it is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn it loose now. All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. It's going on 3.30. Um, down here at the Bluestone Lake today in Hinton, West Virginia. And I was here fishing a club with my bass tournament, the Fish on Bass Masters. And uh, I caught four fish today. Uh, the first one was a 11 and a half inch largemouth that I caught on this uh, bone colored whopper plopper, uh, River to Sea Whopper Plopper 90. And um, also caught a little smallmouth up the New River on it too, but it got off. Uh, my braid. Braided line got wrapped around the tip and I couldn't uh, couldn't reel it in and uh, well the fish ended up getting away. But uh, yeah, 11 and a half inch large mouth on this right off the bat this morning. And I was fishing this whopper plopper on my lose mock smash combo. It's uh, seven foot two, medium heavy action and fast tip. And I got it spooled with a uh, 50 pound test uh, vicious braid. And then the second fish I caught today was a 10 and a half inch smallmouth. Caught it on this uh, natural shad, Strike King, uh, KVD, uh, J100 jerkbait. This is the small size. And it was up the river too. We were up in the New River a ways. And uh, fishing this jerkbait on my Lou's Carbon Blue GT spinning combo. It's uh, six foot eight, uh, medium action the fast tip. Got it spooled with um, 20 pound test, vicious braid spliced to several feet of um, 10 pound test uh, vicious fluorocarbon. Then my fish of the day I caught today was an 18 and a quarter inch, 3.19 pound largemouth, and I caught it on this Nico rig. And what this is, this is a four inch sick Ned worm from Bugsy's Baits USA. And I have a 16th ounce uh, nail weight in the head of it and a one aught mustad finesse hook and uh, fishing this Nico rig on my uh, lose Hank Parker speed stick rod it's a uh, six foot ten medium action and with a, a fast tip and got a pair with a lose mock smash reel and 20 pound test high vis vicious braid Spliced to about six or eight feet of 10 pound test vicious fluorocarbon. And, uh, but it ended up coming in second place, which was good for $60. And Big Fish was good for $45.
So, I've got $105 today here for my efforts here at Bluestone Lake. And so now I've got, got some gas money. So, um, hope everybody liked this video. Um, I wish I could have got footage of the big fish, but my partner knocked the camera over when I was trying to land it for me. So that's all right, I got it in, got paid. But uh, like I said, I hope y'all like this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments, and um, try to get out and get another video done as soon as I can. And I really appreciate everybody watching.